Hi, my pickles, my snowflakes, and my turtles. My name is Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food with Keto under 20. And for real success, I keep mine under 15 because it just helps me keep my metabolism revving. And I want to be, I want to be maintaining where I'm at now with my weight, which I never, ever, ever, ever thought I would be at at 67 and more than a half <laughs> as I aim for 68 and that's the year I graduated from high school I have my 50th this year and I'm not going anyway what am I having today well I am recording this on May 3rd so I'm not quite sure what day it'll show up but what I'm having today is 1,396 calories. Don't I seem to always have something like that? 1,300 and something, something. So today, 1,395, and I am having protein at 52, which is like where I like to be. My carbs are 12, which is where I like to be. And my fat is 129, where I like to be. So I'm very, very happy. And what I'm having today, is um, I'm having my one meal a day. I'm having it at three. I work tonight. So I'm having five, 5.2 ounces of tenderloin steak because I already cut it. And I'm having 47 asparagus that I lightly roasted in the toaster oven. I am having 50 grams of mushrooms sauteed in pasture raised butter. Wouldn't you? And, um, and then I'm going to uh, heat up the tenderloin. It was already cooked on the big green egg. I'm going to reheat it in butter on top of the stove. That's going to go on my Fiesta salad size plate. And then, and then I'm going to have um, a big salad. And in that big salad today is organic baby romaine, 60 grams, baby spinach, organic, 70 grams, and romaine lettuce that is not um, e. coli with 77 grams and then three tablespoons of oil, half macadamia nut oil, and half is going to be extra virgin olive oil organic. And that is it. And it's 1,396 calories. You saw the low carbs. You saw the moderately low protein and you saw the fats at 129. So that makes me very, very happy. So this after after watching um, after watching the magic pill and um, remembering that the, I had this map of um, this map of showing the ten biggest food uh, companies in the United States uh, excuse me in the world um, I wish I could just like flash over to you or have the talent so the ten biggest stop me if you've heard this Nestle PepsiCo General Mills, Kellogg's, Associated British Foods, Mondelez, Mars, Dan, Danone, which is Danon, Unilever, and Coca-Cola. And it shows on this map, it's a really cool map, Oxfam put it together, and it shows on the map what they, what each company kind of specializes in it. And it says only 10 companies control almost every food and and beverage brand in the world. These companies, which I just named off, each employ thousands and make billions of dollars in revenue every year. In an effort to push these companies to make positive changes and for customers who control the brands they're buying, Ox, Oxfam created a mind-boggling infographic that shows how interconnected consumer brands really are, which is that map. Um, here's a further breakdown, and <laughs> this is just like, it just slays me, okay? Kellogg's, and they show a picture of all the different all the different flavors of Pringles. There's nothing natural in Pringles at all. I remember living in Dayton, Ohio, at Wright Patterson Air Force Base with um, husband number one, and um, when they came out, so it was like 1970, and um, yeah, so there, um, and it came out, and I was living there, and I remember one guy on a local radio station, it must have been a uh, TV station, it must have been so funky back then, so so much fun. Um, 
you know, he was eating each Pringles. It was just one of those moments where it's like, oh, you know, we didn't know what junk food was because it was just really all coming about. And we were just, we were just going to do the American way and put on our 10 or 15 every year eating the CRAP garbage. So anyway, um, Kellogg's known mostly for cereal, but uh, their 2015 revenue was 13.5 billion. It's 2018 now, so you can only imagine. Forget Fruit Loops and Frosted Flakes. Kellogg's also owns non-cereal brands like Eggo, Pringles, and Cheez-Its. So that must mean they own the Sunshine brand because I used to love my Hydrox and they were Sunshine. I, did, I was never an Oreo fan. Of course, catch me in a moment and I guess I could begin to love them if that's all that was available because I was Little Miss Piggy. Associated British Foods. Well, they actually have something decent. Um, Twinnings Tea and their revenue was 16.6 .6 billion and they have Dorset cereals, which most of us wouldn't be aware of what they are. General Mills, mm -hmm. they show a great big picture of my favorite um, former binge food, so I won't mention what it is, but they're best known for their cereals like Cheerios and Chex, but also own brands like EO Play, Hamburger Helper, haagen and Betty Crocker. Tell me which one of those is organic or has natural ingredients again. Help me, remind me, bring me back. Oh, that's right, none. Danone. So their, their revenues were 24.9 billion. 24, amazing. They're best known for Act, Activa, Yo Crunch, and Oikos, as well as Danone. They also sell medical nutrition products and bottled water. Their nutrition products, I don't know. I just, I just found myself out of that site, so I, I won't go back, but I'd love to know what their nutritional products are. It's like, why bother with all the other stuff? Mondelez. And they, uh, theirs is $29.6 billion with a B. And this in snack-centric company's brands include Oreos, Trident Gum, and Sour Patch Kids. Yeah, they're really looking out for us, too. And then right after them, a little bit higher, is the Mars Company. And they had $33 billion in 2015 profit. Their best, you think they'd be buying like insulin companies. Mars is best known for its chocolate brands such as M&M's, but it also owns, oh great, Uncle Ben's Rice, Starburst, and Orbit Gum. Coca-Cola. Their revenue was $44.3 billion. Yikes. And they're moving beyond soda with beverage brands including Dasani, Fuse and Honest Tea. Unilever, and they show a picture of Hellman's with the reel on the front of it. And there's also a um, stamp on it that says free range eggs. But um, as most of you are quick to tell me, because I don't eat mayonnaise, the first ingredient is either canola oil or soybean oil. So it's like a dangerous, toxic thing. I don't know what the reel means. It just ropes you in. Their revenue, so this is Unilever, I always thought they were soap, um, was $59.1 billion, okay? And they, yes, their brands are Axe, uh, Lipton Tea, Magnum Ice Cream, and Hellman's Mayonnaise. $59 billion. Those are the jets that fly over my head going to Nantucket to the house that they use like two to four weeks a year. PepsiCo. Their revenue was $63 billion, so a lot more than Coca-Cola. They own brands such as Quaker Oatmeal, Cheetos, and Tropicana. And which one of those is, like, good for us? <laughs> oh, that's right, none. And here comes Nestle. And um, somebody uh, messaged me that they are not a U.S. company. So um, if I misspoke... Anyway, their revenues, Nestle, 
87 billion. So it's amazing to see who's connected with all of them. And their brands are Gerber Baby Food, Perrier, DiGiorno, and Hot Pockets. Plus, of course, candy brands um, known as Butterfinger and Kit Kat. So how's that for like what's going on with our food companies and our health? Uh, yeah. So canned wine will be um, introduced. And then people having chilled red wine is also coming along. And just more, just, it, it's, I'm so glad I do keto. It's so simple. It's like meat, fatty meat, veggies, and pasture-raised butter, and the good oils, no soybean, no corn, no vegetable, no canola oils, or sap or seed oils, meaning sunflower seed, grape seed, Stop me if I've missed one. So, I don't know. It, it's just, you know, we really are running against the tide. And when you think of how many efforts a lot of us make and these wonderful movies that come out that say what we're doing, like The Magic Pill and like The Widowmaker and, and um, the, the sugar movies on Prime Video that I've been catching. It's just amazing. We have... We are such an underground swell of eating healthy and getting it done. And, you know, we, we just keep moving along and hoping our momentum builds up. But those 10 biggest companies, it's absolutely incredible. And that map from Oxfam is really incredible. And I think you can click on it and get even more information about the foods. Who's, you know, who's giving us our our organic foods i remember with um uh was it i think it was diamond blue diamond and they were originally organic all those nut milks and um that was the owner's wish i think that he wanted to remain organic and then the company was sold out and now it's not organic anymore so that's how this stuff happens or maybe it was silk it's one of those two of course those are the two that you always see with the nut butter nut milks and so um, I'll have to see who does, oh, who does my smart water, where that comes from. I know that the mountain, the mountain valley comes from, you know, nobody owns them except mountain valley spring. And then the smart water is Glasso and It just says made for glass so in New York. So I don't know, you know, who's your daddy? <laughs> it's a baby. Who's, who's your baby daddy? So anyway, we have so much that we can learn. I love, I love discovering foods and where they come from and who's funding them. And an, another thing that I just read online was, um, and I saw it on Dr. Oz too, so you know it's really real, right? Yeah, Dr. Oz only speaks the truth. There's no corporate backing for him, just so we're clear. So he did a thing on why pasta is good for you and helps you lose weight. Well, he must have gotten that idea from the Barilla uh, company that came out with the review and the report on why eating pasta will help you lose weight, funded by the Barilla company. You're familiar with Barilla, right? The navy blue boxes filled with all the white pasta? Yeah. Stop me. Just stop me. Anyway. Thank you so much for listening. Just a, a minor rant on food companies and what's going on. I will see you the next time. Thank you so much for watching. I love my keto community and we just need to keep, keep being it, doing it, saying it, following it. And uh, at least our health is taken care of. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye for now.